Today we're attempting to brew. Oh. <laughs> the world's darkest beer. Attempting, you yeah. say. Attempting. Yeah. We're not really good at brewing. It so. could go off the rails at any point, really. Try one more. Oh my, wow. Do you want to talk about the fact that you died at one sure. point? Sure. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that um, kind of mixes in as well. Oh, uh, it's a great story. Yeah. Here's the first problem with this experiment is that there is no, like, world's darkest beer, world cup. I did some Googling. Yeah, because I feel like you can find, like, the hoppiest beer if you Google it. And right, it's, yeah. like, the darkest beer. It's like, Imperial Stouts are the darkest beers. I was like, how and about, they like, usually they'll hold goal? up, like, a flashlight right. to it yeah, yeah, and yeah. kind of, like, see how much light goes I through. I don't think we're going to get, I don't think we're going to get any light through that. You know what we should mention, actually, before we go any further. Why are we doing this collaboration? We're here with Rob from the Rob's Art YouTube channel. Rob literally died once, but he came back to life, thankfully, and now he makes dark art. And he's making can art. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, by the way. Yeah, that was so we were hanging out and we were like, if you can make the darkest beer, I'll try to make like the darkest morbid label, yeah, yeah. you know, that I can. And so I've been working over at the studio and uh, I got some things to, to test out and for you to look at. Okay, we'll, we'll see. Like there's a good amount of dark, heavily roasted malt in here, but I mean, it's not like all dark malt. You don't really need a ton to make a beer really dark. A little bit goes a long way. Yeah, a little bit goes a long way. Like a surprisingly small amount. However, we, uh, oh, there's like a little hair from the beer gnomes in there. Um, <laughs> you know, anyway. We got some floor grades in there. Yeah, quite a bit more than we would ever put, we've ever put in any beer Oh, it's before. like 20% yeah. dark malt. Oh yeah, so that's crazy, yeah. yeah. I tried to pick malts that are dark, but Kind of this is very professional over here. Yeah, we try. I think it's gonna come out good, but that's kind of the fun. Yeah. You know? I'm excited one way or the other. It has alcohol in it, right? Yeah, it, well, it will. Yep. Yeah. Good, yeah. that's it. So that's the goal. First step is actually adding the water. We've already done that. It's have already, you brewed it's before? Heating up. I have never okay. brewed before. Okay. I have no idea. Okay. I know that you use some of this and some of that, and yeah. maybe it takes some time, but I mean, besides watching your channel, that's yeah. as much okay. as I know about brewing, but and I've you, never touched it. And never you're not going to learn a lot watching. It <laughs> <laughs> it smells delicious. It's, Speaking of beverages, <laughs> I know it's, you know, you pretty early drinking? in the morning, but you got a whole, All right. you got a whole thing over here. What am I, what am I looking at? What's, uh, um, what's good for today? It's almost 8.45. I like it. I would yeah. say, I would say, uh, the winter lager we did. We're deep in winter, so. Yeah. Which is not on the tap board, actually. Okay. It's, uh, it's in the east wing. Perfect. <laughs> we'll grind the grains. All right. Get them in the kettle. And then once they're in the kettle, we just hang out. Then we can get a beer. All right. That work? Yeah, no, okay. no, I didn't want to rush it. I don't want to be the Debbie Downer over here. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the guy, the guy that's like, hey guys, let's try to keep it together. I'm a, I'm a little, I'm, I'm anxious because oh, gotcha. uh, I haven't drank in uh, all of dry oh. January, dry January. You did so it. I've been saving it for, gotcha. for this moment. The minutes are just ticking away over here. <laughs> let's get this going. I've, I've never done it. <laughs> I've dry January. So. Oh. so your job, if you're cool with yeah. it, it's just pouring the grains from the bucket. And basically all we're doing is put this as a, a grain mill, so it just crushes uh -huh. them, opens them up, so the husks kind of open up, and it just allows you to make beer. Wow, that is a crazy amount of dark malt. I don't think the dark malts in our grain bill is ever going over like 10%, and this is 20. Yeah, I'm actually kind of worried that this beer is gonna be gross. It could be too much dark malt. That's it. That's all she wrote. Wow, it smells good. Temperature plays an important role too. That can't be right. Shit. Uh-oh. Kyle. What? You never turned the heat button back on, my boy. Oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah, now we gotta wait two more hours. <laughs> oh, we're only at 114. Yeah. Look at this. Check this out. What do you have to... That's just iced espresso. It looks like a, a Guinness. Oh, not a Guinness. Yeah, like yeah, a Guinness. Yeah. You can make essentially like nitro coffee with the steam wand because the air is 78% nitrogen. So you just blast it with the steam and boom, instant nitro coffee. Cut off. Bring coffee to Kyle. <laughs> so right now you can accurately, you know, measure how much ABV very is going close, to be very close estimate, yeah. And so, six point five is what you told me it was going to be, but we all know that we need a little maybe six point six six. Yeah. You know, placate towards the. Makes you know, sense. I don't know. I should have thought of it. Sure, the the dark the side of exactly. beer, you know. So one more pound will bring it up to the. It, it should get the us right, right there. Yeah. Just dump it in. Dump it in. 
It smells good though. It smells amazing. It's kind of, oh, that's kind of why I enjoy home brewing. It's like, you know, want to do a super dark beer, like an Imperial Czech dark lager that doesn't exist? Hell yeah, we'll brew it. Yeah, so. Do you want to talk about the fact that you died at one sure. point? Sure. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that um, kind of mixes in as well. Oh, uh, it's a great story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a great story. <laughs> do you want a, yeah, do you want a beer do for this? this? I would love a beer okay. for this. All right, well, get some beers yeah, first. It's a, it's Let me a, grab this keg. It's a crazy story. No. It's great. Where is it at? There's a problem with my kegerator, and all of that stuff is not carbonated at this point. Mm. So we're down to this and a double IPA. Nice. Kyle, do you want one? Um, let me finish my coffee first, okay. and then I'll, then I'll dip into that keg. Audible in at the last second. Threw some hot peppers in. Really? Yeah. Well, so. That'll spice it up for the winter. Yeah, that was kind of the idea. So oh. I haven't had this in a little bit, so I'm excited. Cheers. What are we? What are we cheers into? Um, the Rob, darkest beer. The darkest, yeah. Darkest beer yeah. and poor choices. <laughs> Them. Nothing like starting at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. on February 1st, actually. It's not, where are we? it's not even the first. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, do, we'll, we'll still count. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. So I had a, a kind of a, a crazy story how I got into art. I died a few years back, which is really crazy to say because uh, usually you, you can't say that. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, I was dead for 27 minutes uh, before I was like resuscitated. Yeah. I uh, was in like a coma after that, a whole fucking crazy thing that I, sorry, can I curse on here? Yeah, I think you so. You can believe it. Yeah. Ended up coming back. Uh, it was kind of like right before the pandemic, the pandemic hit, and then I was stuck in my basement. And I didn't know what to do, so I started just painting. And yeah. then that spiraled out of control. Yeah. And the next thing I knew, uh, I had hundreds of paintings uh, in my basement. It was a complete fire hazard, yeah. and I was like, I gotta, I gotta do something with these. And so I went, uh, got myself a little studio gallery, and just started making all the art out of there. A lot of the subject matter is like a very dark, I guess you could say. Yeah. Uh, I went to a dark place. There's a lot of imagery of coffins and skeletons and ghosts and you know all the things that you would mm. associate with death and a traumatic experience like I had. You know, I didn't think it would, anybody would want to hang anything up like that. Uh, but to my surprise, Asheville is pretty weird. You get a lot of strange people in there. And they like the art, so. And then I found out I was literally, you know, right down the street from you guys. Right. Uh, and we started hanging out, and yeah. that's when the whole beer and the topic came about. Yeah. The, you know, dark art, dark beer, and then the next thing you know, here we are. I don't even know how to respond to the I died and then I'm still alive part, yeah. but you were not an artist before this happened. No. Nope. Then you started doing art and we've been to your gallery and your art is awesome. Thanks. I mean, it's like, you would never know that you, this is just something you just started doing. Yeah, 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 recently. no. Mm -hmm. It's very, also the, the gallery is like just my art. So I don't even, it's more like a museum of my, yeah, you know, yeah. tragedy the uh, than it is mind. anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of things are dark. So one of the things for the label is like this black rainbow Oh, and it's sweet. like uh, that I'm uh, that I'm working with. And I'll show you the nice. designs and stuff for it before we uh, before we had printed it out. But uh, and this is the first time that I've ever put you know here being in Beer City, Asheville, you see all the labels, you see all the cool cans. Yeah. Right. And I was always been like, I want my art on like one yeah. of these cans. Like, yeah. when am I gonna get that chance? Boom. There we go. <laughs> here we are. Have you done any labels yourself for? Claw no, hammer I mean, or any of your beers? Um, dude, I just threw away. No, <laughs> the uh, Halloween or the sour pumpkin sour. I, can't believe, I, the, I have the perfect answer <laughs> to that question. It's in. That's out in the recycle right. bin. Okay. I recycle. Here we are. Dude, it's at the bottom. <laughs> This is the most effort I've ever put into a label. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That's good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really good. And then, uh, but this is our standard can. Oh, uh, okay. Here. Yeah, no. This that's... is like, I don't even know why we have. I like that. You know, it's yeah. very, it looks very like apocalyptic. Uh, like you'd be in a bunker or something and you're mm -hmm. like, oh, is the beer from 2017 <laughs> still good? Yeah. Like... Don't know what beer it is. <laughs> right. So this is a good partnership here. Yeah, no, I like it. I'm ready for it. This is what I think one of the most fascinating things about beer is that 
there's this you know, process in nature where seeds are like primarily starch with some protein as well sometimes, but then there are also enzymes. And uh, under certain conditions, those enzymes will activate, start eating the starch, so the seed is, like starts consuming itself, but produces sugar. And then the plant actually uses that sugar for energy to grow. And that's exactly what happens when you malt and mash during the brewing process. Do you have a, a tall boy? Or should I just uh, take this yeah. one well, right I'll, here? I'll, let me get you a... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, now I'm trash. We're just going to use this can for the rest of the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't find uh, anyone that actually... I know Barry will prints on the things, but I couldn't find, like, who prints on cans, mm -hmm. like, around here. But we did, like, we called a couple breweries to try to see whether or not they would give us any inside advice. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't. They were like, so, nah. This is just a, a mock-up right. uh, that, that I literally printed out on my home printer, so it's not to color or scale um That's yet sick, dude. but was thinking dude, that is so awesome dark days the darkest beer for your darkest days <laughs> um, so have a uh and then it's got a little uh we'll get the ingredients eventually you scan that little qr code it'll go to the making of the beer mm -hmm. uh, you got your little claw hammer there brewed in Asheville. Uh, it's and I didn't it didn't come out up here, but it says a Rob Czar and Claw Hammer uh, collaboration Sweet. up on there. So we'll make that a little bit better. But uh, and but this is the uh, the painting is of like this black dark rainbow that you've seen before. Yeah. What do you think about Dark Days? What's the is that like oh, a beer love it. kind of uh, name that would yeah that would okay. Like that should be a can on a shelf. I, if I saw that, I'd buy it. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure would. a brewery is gonna snatch that. Bit. Yeah, we should yeah. trademark it before we go live. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right. Well, I can't wait for this to uh, be actual the the real deal. Uh, a little bit, bro. Gotcha. Sixty minute match is done. Hit wardrobe. Looking good. I'm gonna kill the pump. That's not the pump. That's the pump. Oh wow! Look at that. So what is that doing? That's just moving everything around. Yeah, just recirculating the uh, the wort. It's called through the kettle. Dude, look how dark that is. That's crazy. So this is crazy. Yeah, I think as advertised, this it's gonna be the darkest. Dude, you know what you need, Rob? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, you need yeah. some gloves for your gloves, maybe. Yeah, those are awesome. Heat gloves. Those are. I mean, you could just use. Those them. are right up my alley. Yeah. Look at those. Boom. Huh? That's like the heat-resistant version. That's the asbestos version of the, <laughs> <laughs> the gloves that you wear now. I love you giving him the hard job. <laughs> it's like, oh. You're like, if you could just lift this 80 pounds out, it smells good. Jesus Christ, that's heavy. <laughs> Yeah, we did, generally would be doing this on the floor. It's hard when it's so high. All right, ready? Just yank it. There we go. Nice. Wow. Well, there's my workout for today. Yep. I'm glad you were here. Yeah, thanks. It's usually my job. Do you know what the best part is? We could have just used the pulley. <laughs> <laughs> Making me work for it. Uh, we'll let drain for like five minutes. Just let most of the water or works at this point, go back into the kettle. Dripping down. And how much will this produce? It's a 10 and a half gallon kettle. Uh -huh. And then when we're done with like the finished product, we'll get five gallons. So decent amount of beer. Manageable to drink. You know, outside of that, you have a pretty big party through it, so. We're setting that up afterwards, right? Yeah, right? yeah? okay. The darkest party. Because I knew you used to be a goth. Oh yeah, you know, huge so job. back in high school, oh, so dude. Marilyn Manson oh, and the whole thing. Yeah, big yeah. Time. Here we go, <sighs> Captain CrossFit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How's it smell? That is a aromatic. And so, will this get darker, or is this during, like this is where the dark during the boil it will caramelize a little bit? Okay. You'll get a little bit darker, and then we're gonna add some of this stuff as well. Which is a little cacao, huh? Yeah, a little black cacao, so. So you can keep up. Neighbors love it. Oh, damn. Yeah. It smells delicious. And it looks like little weed pellets. We yeah. Put, we putting weed in here? Yeah, we could. Yeah, we are.
I smell that over there. <laughs> oh yeah, right? Mm. Delicious. <laughs> These are the boys we're gonna use and they're vacuum sealed to keep the freshness. So mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. should smell even better, honestly. Czech saz hops? That's it. Is that what it is? Yeah, so we're adding two hops, two ounces, of two, two pellets. The, the first smell uh, when you Dude. get through the bag, because it's been in there forever. It's been... It was born in there. Oh yeah. Woo! That's nice. That is nice. A little spicy. Yeah. And this one too? Yeah, we'll do them both. All right. This is the, the bitter in addition. Damn. Wow. Look at this mess we made. That is a dark beer. Woo. Can I get drunk just off of what's going on in here now? Not yet. No booze yet. No. All right. Okay, nice. All right. Nice facial. And we'll set a timer for 60 minutes. And then once the boil's done, we're gonna add some more hops, chill it, keg it, drink it. Keg it, drink it. Hello. Five minutes left in the boil. Well, what are we going to do till then? We're going to add some of this. Oh. A little cacao. Oh, yeah. Organic black. So four ounces. I don't know if it's on. Is that moving? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Four ounces is going to be a lot. Yeah, right? Oop. Three. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on. There it is. There we go. Kind of do a pre-stir. Oh, that's roasty. Yeah. Toasty. Roasty, toasty, and almosty there. Heck yeah. Let's just do the last let's bit get, of hot. Let's get dirtier. Yeah, just... <laughs> oh god, that's good. Salad. Dude, nice. Oh, it's going to be brutal. <laughs> it's, you have to try it once, and we've already done it. <laughs> okay, grassy bitter. There we go. That's what I want in my beer. <sighs> That's the stuff. Well, I think we could probably start chilling down. I'll, I'll start getting the hoses together. Put this together. <laughs> Only made a small mess. Not bad, normal. Nobody died again. Parf. Yeah. 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 So yeah, basically we're just gonna transfer, transfer it from, to the, keg. from the kettle to the keg. Try to do this without spilling it anywhere. <laughs> you wanna... Can you hit that pump button, Rob? Pump on? Yeah. Oh my god. Boom. There it is. Texas tea. That is dark. Right there, black gold. <laughs> That's like diesel motor oil <laughs> that you've been running in your car for like 10,000 miles. That is definitely the darkest beer, I mean, just visually, we've ever made, clearly. For sure. Looks like hope, squid ink. <laughs> hoping no light. I, I mean, I'll be amazed if any light can get through it. But it should be nice, like super dark with a brown, like little foamy head, hopefully. Yeah, it looks like we're low. I think we're low. What? Oh! Oh! <gasps> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Just blame it on me. It's something, some shit that I would do. Right. We'll start with dirty towels actually. Well now you can kind of see how dark the the beer is. <laughs> Thanks, Libby. Uh, we weren't we weren't sure. <laughs> well, we were doing so good. So the final step after you spill it. All over your kitchen. Yeah, well, you needed that to kind of, that it's a good floor sanitizer. Yeah, but yeah, all we got to do now is literally. Does that affect the 
Those be less beer. Okay. Oh, that's beer. okay. So that was Libby's beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was your cut. In terms of spills, I've seen worse. Yeah. You know, that was a beer, maybe two. No big deal. Do we want to take a gravity reading or no? Um, I want to take a gravity reading. Okay, Rob wants to take it. We're going to take it. <laughs> I've never taken a gravity reading right. before. Are there boots involved? Dude, uh, yes. There. So this, this is a hydrometer. It measures specific gravity. So that's what we're going to be measuring. All, all we're doing is measuring it today. It will give us some numbers and then we'll measure it in fermentations done. It will give us some more numbers. You go on an online calculator and it tells you what the alcohol content is. Nice. So that's kind of the the way I use it. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Ignore the numbers and use the internet. So basically we're taking some of our wort. We're gonna fill our tube. Just dump it on the floor. At this point, it's, <laughs> Libby's basically around this whole. Perfect. Yeah. See, my phone was just welded to the floor. Yeah. It is not a party <laughs> unless something spills. Where's a good place to make another mess? <sighs> Libby's desk this time. <laughs> We're on her computer. Damn, it's only on your, your Rebox too, so. <laughs> That's a bummer. And you can give it a little twist. And then those numbers there <clears throat> are... Those are the magic numbers. Yeah, it's the original gravity. What does it mean? What is happening? I think we're definitely high. As long as it's at least 666, we can say the extra six. is a little bonus for you. you know? Yeah. So this goes in next? That's it, yeah. So this is it. This is the last, the last step. ingredient. This is the Czech Bodovich, Bodovis Lager Yeast. I'm just going to dunk it real quick in the sanitizer. Just. Yeah, no, you don't know where my hands have been. I mean, we can guess. We can guess. <laughs> Probably in paint. Dunked. Give mm -hmm. it two dunks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> two dunks. <laughs> it's better than the pellets, that's for sure. It's still not good. That's, that's a new move. Rob, do you want to try this? <laughs> that is a new move. Do you want to try this? The unfermented wort? Have you oh, tried this? Yeah, 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 for that, sure. That'll probably be the best thing you try. It mm. might be bitter, though. Mm -hmm. Have you tried it? No, uh, but that, it's, it's going to be real aggressive. So I'm not going to, this isn't like, there's no alcohol in this. No alcohol. Right? No alcohol yeah. yet. So yeah. this, is, this is the first uh, taste test of the darkest beer uh, on the planet. Mmm. My big gulp. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good. That's delicious. Is it good? Oh my god. I don't believe you. It's like uh, it's like like you're eating cocoa pebbles. You get wait, you got a little bit. Right. Yeah. There you go. You got it. Okay. Yeah. That's gonna be all right. Yeah. Really? Right. Mm. Huh. Interesting. I think this has high potential. Yeah. To be high. High potential. High potential. Like high potential. It's like potential to get you really high. Yep. Mm, I'm into that. So this is a floating dip tube, so we can just serve out of the same keg we're fermenting in. And gasket, and then lid, or <clears throat> try clamp. And then uh, let's try to line this up yeah. in a particular way. That would be good right is there. That's a good spot. Here, let me put this on here. Oh, do you want to handle it? Yeah. Do you sell these too? Uh, yeah. No way. Way. So I can get the whole thing. I can Dude, make my own beer. The whole sh kit and caboodle. Wow. That's shadoodle. Awesome. The whole shadoodle. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say whole shebang, but then there's a whole thing with how the keg blew up and almost killed me, actually. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. keg that you designed yourself? Adjustment. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, man. We do that kind of stuff, and that's why we had to do it twice. <laughs> <laughs> People have been waiting a long time for their kegs. Yeah. Dude. And our customers have been super cool. That's yeah. good. Yeah. And I'm glad we redesigned it because design one in practice, we were never super happy with this. And now the more we use this, we're like, God, it's so dumb. So we'll uh, hit this with some oxygen. Oh, that. Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is just straight oxygen. So this is just straight oxygen. Yeah. We'll just leave that bubble in there for, I don't know, a minute or something. Yeah. I really don't know. Yeah. That's the thing. We've got this fancy oxygen tank and we don't even really know. We'll do a minute. Minutes sounds good. Yeah. You hitting this off to the side, getting a little. 
Sometimes, yeah, if you want to get, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, go out for a run, you come back, yeah. You, now, this doesn't add any carbonation to it. It no. just adds oxygen molecules. Right, yeah, so yeast um, need oxygen for the first part of the fermentation process, and they will consume all of that oxygen. And, like, the, the weird thing is they don't start making alcohol until the oxygen is gone. It's like mm. a stress mechanism that causes yeast to start producing the alcohol. I paid attention in yeast class. Now, we do need to put an airlock on this. We don't want to just leave it like that. That'd be bad. These bears. A little spundy? A little mini little spundy? One? Yeah. All right. I guess maybe we'll use the... So that's floating. I'm going to put it on the in. And... We'll use the uh, O2 tank to basically set, set the, the pressure. All right, cool. And what are you doing now? Just setting yeah, the 4. pressure? 4.5, yeah. Oh, that's getting in there. There we go, oh, finally. All right. What's the magic number, 69? Yes, <laughs> exactly, 420.69. Now we want this to be I mean, so you would use this to, well, shit. I mean, if it's a lager, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll do yeah. it at like 15. What am I doing? How about 13? Okay. Yeah. We'll try it. We'll shoot for 13. Perfect. Precision. Except for the stuff that was dumped on the floor. What is 13 what? Is it an ounce of pressure? Yeah, so, yeah, so that's uh, pounds per square, square okay. inch. So 13 PSI is what this is going to ferment at. And the reason we are putting pressure on it is because it's a lager. Typically, you would lager a beer at, you know, like 50-some degrees, right? That slows down the growth of the yeast, right? Just lager turns out better when it, go, you know, grows a bit slower. If you put pressure on it, it does the same thing. Do you like it? This is the short answer. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's it? That's it. So what happens now? We did it. Sweet. Uh, now we wait. Now we wait. Two weeks? Yeah, a couple weeks. Next thing, we hire a serve pro to come in and clean up this massive mess here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back. The beer is done fermenting. Yeah. We are ready to can. Cheers to getting this far. Yeah, cheers. We made it. <laughs> cheers. That was a long two weeks. Yep. <laughs> What we have here is we have a keg of uh, finished beer. We have a lot of towels in case Libby knocks something over again. <laughs> um, let's see here, a CO2 tank, canner, and a beer gun. A beer gun? A beer gun. Stepping it yeah. up. Yeah, That's stepping exciting. it up. Does that just go straight into the tank and just like, it's like a... Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Here. We'll let Libby do that later. I'm sure that's, <laughs> I'm sure she's, she's thinking about it yeah. already. I don't remember what this guy was, but she was high. Yeah? Yeah. I'm high right now. <laughs> I mean, you can practically can anything, right? Does it have to be liquid? Yeah. I mean, no. Hmm. We canned like rocks and uh, money for my buddy Ross once. Be a good way to get rid of like body parts. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. You have to just, you know, break it down into 16 ounce portions, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah, but do that in the bathtub. <laughs> Easy. Okay, here's how this works. Just got a beer gun, two parts to here. We have gas and we have the beer. And here's what the gas does. Boom. So we can purge the oxygen out of the can. Then we're ready to fill up beer. Boom. Beer. Wow. All right. So this is the test. This is the pour. This is the pour. Wow. That smells like darkness. Yeah. That is dark head. Woo! Because usually it'll be like a light tan. That's wild. It can be darker. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> smells uh, nice and chocolatey. Yeah. yeah. It smells. Uh, Cheers. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever smelled it quite like that. Oh, yeah. Wow. That doesn't even taste dark. No. That's better than I thought it was mm -hmm. going to be for being that's really good. two and a half yeah. weeks old. Yeah. What's the average time? I mean, it just has a lot of dark malts in it. Sometimes they need a little bit of time to age out. But like a month. I yeah. would let it hang out before So this get, beer like, is only really going to get better? Yeah. yeah, it'll get better. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. It'll get way better. Well, I brought a, uh, yeah. I have a little testing device. All right. I got this oh, uh, nice. high-powered flashlight. The real test. It's not going through, guaranteed. See anything? See no, nothing. Wow. Let's, I feel let's like you need a pitch black room. Yeah, let's do this. Dark as we can make it. Oh yeah, yeah nothing. dude. Nothing's nothing's going through nothing's that. Nothing's getting through there. I think we did it. Oh, you? I know you did it. Dude, yeah. it looks like crude oil. 
<laughs> it really does. At least it doesn't taste like crude oil. Yeah. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna say the darkest beer in the world. The darkest beer in the world. I'm not gonna argue I'm not, with I'm you. Not, who else is who's gonna check? Wait till you see the comments. <laughs> Citation needed. There's there's someone for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now we can. So here's what we're gonna do. We got lids. We got cans. So we can just toss the cans in there. What, is, what, what, what happens? What do you, why do you do that? Yeah, here we go. All right. So we can see. We've got some sanitizer solution here. So we've got to just give them a little dunk and rinse. And so this isn't going to make the, ta the beer taste like nah. sanitizing solution. Nah. No, nah, this, what, what, this is what this stuff is for. So this is keep your beer from getting infected. Oh, All yeah. right, yeah. So if there's anything in the can, just yeast, bacteria, it just ensures that the final beer will be good. So there's always a risk with your packaging, but. And what, we keep those in for an hour, two? Three to four yeah. day, days. Oh, okay. I think, I think it's pretty much instant, I want to <laughs> say. I, don't, I actually never read like the sheets. Why would you? I know. What am I, a scientist? 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Yeah. <laughs> Figure by the time I need it, it's, it's clean. Yeah, you know it. You know it. I would just put like a little blood dripping down off the hammer. All right. Gonna purge it with the gas. Gonna fill it. All right. Pop that guy on there. Cool. And then. There we go. Nice. Cool. Now, this is where it kind of gets a little messy. <laughs> Hit it. Yeah. All right, now come on over here. Number one, just pull that arm all the way this way. There you go. And then do number two. Pull that, pop that back. Pop number one back, yeah. Number two. All right, and then turn it off. Get out of there here. There we go, man. And then just pop that thing down. What? Wow. Dirty towel off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Make sure to get the, <laughs> yeah, the rim there. Get it all over the rim. Yeah. Where, where, where are you drink from? Perfect. Wow, that's a, I've never seen that done before. Yeah, there we go. That was pretty easy. Yeah. Cool, now we want to label it. Yeah. You ready for this? The, the labels, only, the labels thing came I'm like in. I'm a little worried about is that it's like kind of has some condensation. So hopefully, mm. oh right, 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 what right. Do you think about that. I feel good about it. Okay. Labels yeah. came in. Those are so sick, man. That's awesome. The darkest beer for your darkest days. So you know, you have a bad day. You come home, pop one of these. You have a good day. Pop one of these. Pop one of these. <laughs> yeah, doesn't matter. Okay. There we go. Okay. Looks, looks like you've done this before. I don't. I don't know. And then just. Roll it that way? Yeah. I'm for I'm worried I'm gonna get it crooked. It's fine. There you go. Dude, I feel like we nailed it. I feel pretty good about it. I feel pretty Holy crap, that's awesome. Good about it. Dude, that came out great. Wow. Love that. You know how like uh, Banksy snuck into the Louvre? Like I remember the thing that he put up was a little piece of rock. And uh -huh. it had a, a caveman uh, pushing the shopping pushing cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the and the tile below it said "Early Man Go Shopping." <laughs> what if we made a six pack of these and like put them in, uh, <laughs> put them in a grocery store? That would be amazing. Like, I didn't put a, uh, a barcode yeah. on this one. I feel like we could get arrested for I'm that. Pretty sure the I'm pretty sure. TTB yeah, would probably get involved with the yeah. ABC. Yeah, but if you know somebody stole them and put them in there from us. You know, we would, we would have no way of knowing <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. We left them on the porch and uh -huh. they were gone. Yeah. yeah. Coolest part about this can, however, are you ready for it? Yeah. You take your phone out, you pull one of these. Boom. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. It gets pulled up to the video. Claw hammer supply. Oh, nice. Sweet. Boom. Sick. So now you can see how this beer was made over on the channel. Oh, that's right. That's crazy. Sick. That's killer. I know. Technology today. Dude. Technology and beer yeah. labels today. Who I knew? I think we should pop some of these in some grocery stores. Uh, I'm not sure if I got in all the ingredients right on that one. If you... <laughs> First ingredient, we got some goat's blood, <laughs> dark chocolate, sugar, <laughs> murder tears. Yeast hops, hair of the dog. I like it. That's perfect. <laughs> I figured something like that. Pretty good there. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, roughly, I'm pretty sure that's what went into the beer. Yeah, yeah. the murder tears are really the uh-huh. the highlight. That's really what makes the it dark. The tears of the murdered or the murderer or of the... Yeah, all just, of it. All just of it. tears. Yeah. Tears of murder. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> now, can I open this? Yeah. It might, like, I don't know. Is it going to blow up? I don't know. Like that's this. The, we'll find out. That's the <laughs> that's spin for <laughs> yeah. 30 seconds. There we go. Perfect. Oh, Ooh. look at that. Nice pop. Fresh out of the cam. He likes it. Dude, you think he's going to chuck the whole thing? I don't know. Uh, a little, no. A little no. disappointed. <laughs> Woo! Wow. That goes down dark. <laughs> <laughs> How do we know that it's 6.66%? Oh, yeah, we do need to do Final Gravity. So, mm. look at you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so much paying attention. Hey, hey, oh. I think we might have overshot it. And by we, thing, I mean me. If you me, don't test, then. You don't know. Right? If it's, um, if you. <laughs> it's, you'll never know. Yeah. yeah. It could it's, be anything. It's, it's not. It's a, whatever you say it it's is. It's not a lie if you believe that it's true. Well, this label's already a little Shout fictitious. Out. Shout out George so. Costanza. It's not a lie if you believe it. <laughs> yeah, the label's a little fictitious already. So, you know. Yeah. I think, uh, I don't think they'll mind. Like, I'm, I'm excited the beer came out. I was a little worried. You worry? A little bit. I mean, there's a lot of you dark You seem malt. like you worry a lot. Yeah, not really. No? You just got put on a front for the video. <laughs> okay. I was real stressed out about this beer. <laughs> <laughs> but it came out in the end, like like yeah. always. But, I mean, it is a significant amount of, like, roasted malt. So, I think they advise, like... Three to five percent. I think we we're at like twenty-five. So, so I believe this one's the gas. It's got like a crazy bubble in it. So you purge it with that one, and then that's the fill once you purge it. I always wanted the purge. There you go. What is that even doing? It's pushing the oxygen out. Oh. Carbon dioxide pushing the oxygen out. Is that it? That should be good. Then pull the trigger. It's a slow process. Yeah, canning canning and bottling is more time consuming than just tossing in a keg. <laughs> so typically only only do it for like special occasions or you know, if you want to save something, I'll put that on. I got sanitized hands. Got it, got it. Oh, so my hands have to be in order to anything touch with what happens. But you weren't in there, so what happens if it's not sanitized? Probably just nothing. Honestly. Or botulism, yeah. <laughs> but honestly, probably, uh, probably nothing. But yeah, you can get infections and all that good stuff. We're on. And then one, then two. And that's it. Heck yeah. Should we get our label? Wow. Production line has begun. How do you know how much you get to get to the top? Is that good? Cap on the foam. That's what people say. Okay. All right. It's a thing. I, I don't do a whole lot of canning, Rob. I'm not going to lie to you. It's uh, pretty labor intensive. <laughs> You're um, telling me. Yeah. That's why you stuck me with the job. Yep. Kyle, we got, we what? got issues. What happened? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let me... Uh... We're probably going to put more beer in there, by yep. the way. I would say top that guy off. Third topper? Third topper. Uh, don't yeah, put it all the way down and then there you go. And pull the trigger all the way up. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, but I wasn't a good teacher. Did you tell him to do that? I was like, dude, do it from no. Probably. I was like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, there you go. You want to do that so you make the biggest mess possible. That's how <laughs> I like to do it at least. Well you know you're getting all the uh Libby enjoys out. it, I know that for sure. Alright, is that working now? Yeah. Alright. So at this pace. We could probably have <laughs> this done by like nine o'clock. I right, we got this whole. We got to fill this whole thing, right? <laughs> probably the whole box. Is that a vape? What are you holding? Yeah. <laughs> well, Kyle kind of walked away from his responsibilities. <laughs> it's that what it was? I, think, I assumed you guys would be able to handle it. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't don't, just, don't assume anything <laughs> in this house. What am I doing with this? <laughs> just holding. <laughs> All right. Did a great job. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what is this? What are we doing? What, what is, we're measuring the gravity 
like the final gravity, so essentially the density. Mm. Oh, there we go. You, you Except I keep fucking it up. <clears throat> Here's how it works. We took a, a density reading at the start of the process, and then we take another density reading now, and we use the difference to tell us like how much sugar was there to start with, and now how much is gone, and the difference is, tells us what kind of alcohol percentage we're looking at. You are my density. I mean, destiny. <laughs> right? What movie? What uh, movie? Now give me a second. I got it. Come on. I've seen like six movies in my entire life. Back to the Future. I'm your density. I mean, your destiny. I have a flux capacitor in my car as my mm. phone charger. Of course you do. That's you awful. hear that? She's a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's right, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Nailed it. Yeah, 6.66. 6. 6, 6, yeah. yeah. Nice. Fuck yeah. Yeah, buddy. 1036 real high. Uh, that's very high. <laughs> Some, these cans are going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> Purging oxygen out? Yep. What does this stuff smell like? <laughs> you purge again. Get my fucking cough out of there. You're very, very slowly crushing it. <laughs> Should we do one more? Yeah, I think so. 20 more. Let's sit a little six pack. Does it always make this much of a mess, Kyle? Mm -hmm. No, just because I'm in here. No, I feel like it's just a messy, because you- Yeah, it's kind of a messy process, canning is. I mean, I don't know what the hell you guys are doing to the table there, but. Well, <laughs> this machine is defective. <laughs> no, never mind, no, it's not. <laughs> I blame that little thing on the bottom. There it is. There it is. Yeah, no, no I take that back. This is not. It's not usually this messy. Nice. I think it's just you guys. <laughs> yeah, you put the B team in. I should have maybe mentioned this before we started, but probably do the gas the there. Last, the last you're doing that. So you want to what's called cap on foam, um, which I thought you guys were just like taking notes as I was doing the first one. I was even watching. <laughs> cap so, on foam. Yeah, yeah go yeah, ahead and yeah, do yeah, the, yeah, keep yeah, doing no, the gas. I know, I know what you're talking about. And That's, then Everybody you, does cap like, on foam. I feel like we've been capping on the foam all day. You fill it up. And then and you then lift it up at the end. Ideally, there's like a little bit of foam. That's a little hot there. A little hot. Giving just, the... Let's just pretend this was foam and not liquid, which is, is actually liquid. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to do that. No? <laughs> but, oh, well. Some lucky customer will get that one. <laughs> this is why we don't sell beer in stores. <laughs> We'd be doing that. Um, I'm learning. I'm learning. You yeah, know? So ideally, that would have been foam and not liquid, and then you also wouldn't have like just put your you know tongue in it. <laughs> uh, and then that way you just ensure that there was no like. Whatever is right. living in your yeah, mouth, herpes, and or, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know. and or um, like oxygen in there. Not worried about the herpes, just and, the oxygen. <laughs> I said and or. <laughs> I think it would be best to give this keg a little bit more, like, like another week. Yeah, a, let it year? age a little bit more. Okay. In the keg, yeah, it is a little young. It'll We're doing it right out. now for the purpose of just getting this video done. Um, it has been an appropriate time, like in, as far as fermentation goes, but it just doesn't have that, you know, it needs to age a little bit more. It's still pretty really good. We let it sit a little bit longer. It's still pretty, I mean, for two weeks old, it's... Yeah, no, it's really good. Drink yeah. it pretty good. Yeah. It is dark, though. The darkest beer in the world. It's the darkest beer in the world. It's pretty damn good. Calling it. What's going to be the title of this video? Brewing the darkest beer in the world? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fuck yeah, it is. I guess if we just say brewing the... Bring um, our darkest. It's like the... Bring our darkest. Ah, yeah. that way you don't have to... I mean, who's going to come... Make a big... Excuse me, guys, actually. <clears throat> this is um assistant to the regional manager type situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. There are so many that's in the comment section that has done the research. Probably. And they check YouTube every day just waiting for a video with this title to be uploaded. <laughs> as as on the, they're just slamming on the keyboard telling us that. This is not 1976 the <laughs> in Prague. <laughs> oh yeah, solid. Is that it? Solid placement. Oh no, uh -oh. coming loose. There it is. Nice, dude. What a great nice. label. Nailed it. Oh wait, well. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, that's gonna be the. <laughs> that's a special you edition. Live, you, live, you live, yeah, dude. Yeah, this is this print. <laughs> Let's try this. All right, we'll try. We'll try one more. Oh, oh wow! Wow! <laughs> 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 
like this place it. hasn't gotten this uh, messy ever, and then I step in, and it's it's got to be like a, a juju of some sort. I like that you put you. I it's like got, it's, this is my fault. Son of a bitch. all on me. This is all about son of a bitch. This I like that me. you put your hands up like. What's it, baby? <laughs> Dude, it's all over the fucking walls. Oh, it's on my shoe. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> Man, I'm very, I'm, I'm very impressed by that label, man. It looks awesome. Thanks. <laughs> exactly. Is anybody doing like a cool black and white label on beer cans? Yeah, us. Hello. True. True. This is pretty much the worst beer to blast all over. I know. <laughs> it's like the darkest. <laughs> fucking. Is it coming off the wall? Yeah. Seriously, just build it. <laughs> I did. I just dropped the glass. I blacked out. It's on heaven now. I'm yeah. out. I'm clean. Dark days. Beer for your darkest days. Bump cut off. Yeah, you're you're out. Yeah. To the bench, buddy. Good. That looks sick. I like the upside down one the best. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, <laughs> you get a little special one in there for you, and then you just go. <laughs> I'm out. Put it in your, in your basket on your bicycle. See ya. Oh wait, I forgot the towel. Here. <laughs> Solid effort. Yeah. We did it. That's it. I'm gonna go back to my house. Okay. I'm gonna clean the walls. <laughs> yeah, we're, gonna re <laughs> we're gonna repaint. We're gonna repaint the kitchen. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. Yeah, let's uh, do like let's do cheers. You guys have you have a yeah, beer? Yeah, uh, You have uh, you have this open dark days. Yeah, is that yours right there? No. Maybe. How many are you I've heard that is yours. Right. No, mine's on the That's floor. Fine. Oh, yeah. you knocked you knocked two of them over? <laughs> no, I was drinking. I'd finished oh, that. Man. Okay. Which is probably why I dropped it. Yeah. Actually, let's just we'll I, this do you know, I didn't know what I did. Did I leave it on the ground? Dude, like, I'll just leave it on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it all happens. I feel like I blacked out. <laughs> you ever had that? Where, like, not like blacked out drunk, but like just like almost like passed out or something for a second. Mm -hmm. Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to talk to your doctor about that. I should. Just, yeah, like, well, I'm just hanging out. I just yeah. threw my glass to the ground. Yeah. Well, anyway, Rob, thanks, man. This has been fun. This yeah. Is a super thanks. cool label. Thanks for bringing this beer with us. Cheers. Thanks for watching.